How's it going? I'm Allie, coming to my dressing room. Welcome, welcome. This is where Glinda hangs out, and um, gosh, these are my pictures. You want to see really um, embarrassing photos of me? And um, right here, my mother used to perm my hair from about second grade till about my sophomore year in high school. So this is me, and also you can kind of, ooh, it's dusty. You see those teeth? I used to suck my finger like this as a kid. Um, actually, another interesting tidbit is my teeth were really gross growing up, and I had to pull seven teeth out of my mouth just because uh, they were so jacked up and my mouth was too small. So I'm missing like seven teeth, but it still gets the job done. Oh, remember Crybaby? Tear. That show came and went, didn't it? <laughs> and my brother and I, look how gross that picture is. Yay for pictures. This is like all my family and um, like good friends, like my boyfriend, he's my really good friend. And um, my sister, who everybody thinks is Glinda when we walk out the stage door. Twice we walked out and I was signing somebody's playbill and they said, oh my gosh, is that Glinda? As they pointed to my sister. Nobody recognizes me because I'm a brunette. And I have to show off my dog, my puppy Elvis. He's in California where I normally live. And he's awesome, he likes to play soccer with me. These are my lovely curtains that my dresser made for me and I picked out the fabric because I didn't want to pay all the money that you pay on curtains from anthropology. So I had her make ones that looked like they were from anthropology. You get what I'm saying? And my sparkly dresses. It takes a lot. It takes a, a lot to make me look like Glinda. I don't know if you can see it or not, but um, it takes a lot of makeup, a lot of hair, and a lot of sparkles. And even then, I'm hoping we, we did the job right. So my panties. And um, <laughs> uh, let's see. This one I think is my favorite. I really like this one, because I think it fits, fits really, really well. Nicole, who plays Alphaba, likes me in this one. She finds me really attractive in general. <laughs> she thinks I'm hot. I do a little bit of foundation, liquid foundation. I gotta make sure to cover all my blemishes <laughs> and color, uh, cover up all my, my dark circles under my eyes and a lot of powder. They really like a really clean look with Glinda. They don't want a lot, you know? So, I mean, you'll see when I, when I get finished, it's, I could probably walk outside the stage door and um, it's like, it's kind of like just as much as I would maybe wear on the street, you know? So this is what I put like all over, like my eyes up here and then this goes in the crease and then this is what I line my um, eyes with and then this is um, for my eyebrows. But it's, it's a grayish color, but apparently they tell me it looks good for blondes. So I just do what they tell me. <laughs> I saw the show first. I saw the original company and I loved it. I really liked it. It wasn't until years later that I went in for it in LA actually. It changed the audition spot for us because there was a huge dance audition for something else going on at the studio and it was so loud. So last minute they got this spot at this church where that apparently like back in the day, like years ago, they used to do auditions there all the time. So my Glinda audition for Joe Mantello and um, a couple of the producers and stuff was in a church. <laughs> You know, you want it to be easy and you want to get along with them and you just, you know, you're trying to be witty and memorable. I think I said some joke, some lame joke, but they laughed about, hey, it's, I'm going to audition. Okay, in the church, I guess I don't have to go tomorrow. I think it was like Sunday. And I actually do go to church, so in my mind I was like, maybe I don't have to go tomorrow. <laughs> I don't have to go to church. <laughs> but I did go. Mom, I went to church. But Stephen Schwartz wasn't at that audition and that was like the final piece that they needed for me to get it. And what was hard was I was working on a show in LA at the time and, um, they wanted me to come to uh, New York and I couldn't come. So it actually worked out to my benefit because he happened to be in LA around that time. So they just set up an appointment just for me and Steven to just go like for me to sing for him. And it was just, I was the only girl that day. And my cell phone went off during the audition, <laughs> which is like such a no-no. But you, I don't even think he heard it because popular was going, but I was like, I can hear my cell phone. So I kind of stopped. I was like, my cell phone's ringing. And I like ran over and got it and, and hung up. and. Let it keep going and I was like, well, he either thought that was kind of cute or he thought this girl is so unprofessional. The audiences are amazing and I tell you what, it is so cool to come to work and know you're going to have a sold out audience and know they're going to love the show right off the bat. People go crazy for the show. I remember when I did Hairspray, they're like, just so you know, like Broadway's not always like this. Like people don't always get to their feet at the end of the show and you know, people, there's like, sometimes there's empty seats out there, you know? So, uh, that was my first experience and you know it's neat to get that again in Wicked. I feel a little spoiled, you know. I get a lot of girls at the stage door who's like, oh my gosh, I want to be Glinda when I grow up. I want to sing popular. I know all the lyrics and yada yada yada. I tell them, I was like, you know what, it'll probably still be running. So keep working on those songs and uh, you 
We'll do the part one day. <laughs> I have to go on stage. We have a special rehearsal. We have a new cast member coming in today. So I have to go for a minute and go do a lift or something or a dance call. But I'll be back and you'll see me what um, I should look like, which is blonde and beautiful. Hopefully. <laughs> you know what? I just have to say I like being blonde. <laughs> I do like being blonde. I want to be blonde for like a week in my real life. Um, but it's so much upkeep because I'm brown that it's just not, it's a hassle. But you know, I don't dress up like this every day in my real life and that's really, really fun. I tell you, this dress is new. It's about the first day I got it, which was probably like three or four months ago. I felt like when, when I was young and I'd open up um, the, a Barbie doll for the first time and everything's just crisp and clean. I was like, oh, I feel like a living Barbie doll right now. It's like a little girl, the little girl in me, it's like dreams come true, <laughs> you know? So it's kind of, it is kind of fun to transform, but um, in my real life, because this is kind of like more high maintenance than I am, is Glinda that I don't, I don't do this in my real life that often, so this is kind of fun. Ladies and gentlemen, your places call her, places please, place for the top of the show, places. Places. As we like to say, we feel like we're living the dream here, so I'm going to go live the dream on Broadway. And uh, see you later, Broadway.com. I've missed you. I'll see you next time.